Hi all, welcome to my channel. In continuation to my previous videos on downloading and installing Python, Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, setting up startup folder in Jupyter. Here I am talking about another Python IDE, Spider. You might have heard about this. Spider, PyCharm, Jupyter, these are some of the very popular Python libraries. Here I am talking about Spider. If you just type Spider on Google, you will see this is the home page for Spider ID. If you have downloaded Python from python.org, you need to download and install Spider on your system in order to use it. And if you have downloaded Python from Anaconda distribution, it's already there in Anaconda distribution. You need to install it from there. Now let's look at this is how Spider looks like. I'll show you live how it looks like. If you are a R user switching to Python, you probably will like this ID. I have switched from R to Python. So I was looking for an ID which resembles R Studio. In Python, there are so many IDs and hence a lots of confusion from where to start. I personally prefer using Spider because of its features. You can view variables here and few more things which are similar to R Studio and which is not there in other Python ID. Now on this home page, you can watch the video of overview. I'm not doing that. And Spider comes with a editor basically you have an editor where you write and edit code and a console to see the output and you can directly run your code in console also it is not there in most of the other python ids here you can see what all variables are there in your environment as you see in r studio we can see what are the data frames we have loaded what are the variables or functions we have created similar thing we can see in spider and you can see plots also and it comes with a debugger and help menu. So there are many things which are great in a spider. One more amazing thing is you can extend spiders functionality by using some third party plugin. There is something called spider notebook and by using this plugin, you can interact and edit Jupyter notebooks inside spider. There is something called spider terminal spider unit test, spider report. So you might want to explore these at later stage. If you are a beginner, I would just suggest you go get a spider and start working in it. Now how you can get a spider? These are some instruction given. If you have Anaconda distributions, you can directly install the spider from there. Now let me show you doc. Here is the quick start guide. It will basically show you a tour of getting started with the spider. We can see that in the spider itself. I'll show you there. This is about installation guide. So again, if you want to try spider online without installing it, so you can use binder as we have seen in Jupyter Labs and it will allow you to explore a spider in your browser so that you can decide whether you want to use it or not. Now the instructions are here to get a spider from Anaconda, alternative methods to update a spider, introductory videos, first step with a spider. So this is always a recommended way to learn something new. You just go to official website, official web page and follow the tutorials. You will be able to learn a lot about that particular tool. And here are the FAQs. I usually prefer reading the FAQs to get most of my queries answers if I'm new to something. So how do, how can you install or update Spider? Can I run, can I try Spider without installing it? Yes, you can try it here using Binder. So if you want, you can explore these options. It's opened here in Binder. So let's click here. Spider version 4. If you click here, you will be able to use its uh, launching Spider 4. Now, this is how it looks like. It's the script here. It's the console. And here you have, okay, you can start tour or you can dismiss. If you start tour, it will show you one by one what all things you can do with this version. I think it's not very easy to read these things here. I'll show you live in my spider. I already have a spider in my system. Now let's talk about versions of a spider. Current version of a spider is 4.1.5 and you can see the description and details, overview, troubleshooting and all those details here. And if you want to see the release history of different versions, so August 5, 2020 is pre-release of version 5. Currently the active version is 4.1.5 and these are the previous versions of Spider. I am using quite an old version currently. I have not yet updated to Spider 4 
but uh, spider 4 has got amazing features collaboration with git is easy and it is compatible with kite to help you quickly typing your code and looking at the documentation if you are now starting your journey you will be probably using version 4 which is great here is the official github page of a spider id and you might want to look at the source code or read about the specific version or issues all those things but for a beginner i think you don't need all these things what you need is just getting started with spider let me show you how you can get started with spider so for anaconda users from here you can install and launch a spider first you need to install if you have not yet done then you can launch i already have it installed i can launch it from here this is the version of a spider which i am using 3.3.6 i can update spider from here if I don't want to use, I can remove this application from here or I can install a specific version 4.1.4 or 4.1.5, whatever I choose from here. So to launch a spider, I can launch from here. So just click here, it will launch a spider. Another way of launching a spider is go to your search bar and type here a spider. So this is a spider Anaconda 3. So you can launch it directly from here. Even without opening Anaconda Navigator, you can launch it from here. It will take few seconds. It's launching. So it's here. There are different panes here. The left hand side pane is for a script. Here you have console and here also you have multiple options of variable explorer, file explorer. These are the files in my current working directory, help, profiler and something else. And again, these are the options file edit search the common options you can create a new file open open last close open recent so these are the recent files so i can select and open from here save save as preview close close all file switcher so if you have multiple files open so you can switch between those files easily currently i just have one file open suppose i have opened multiple files here and i want to switch between files so it's easy i can switch from file switcher here or I can switch from file switcher here. Edit again, cut, copy, paste, comment, uncomment, intent, unintent, uppercase, lowercase, all those things. Find, replace kind of thing, search. I am not showing you all these options here. You can run the entire Python file if you want to. You can run a current cell. You can rerun last cell and all these options are there. So it's good practice to remember the shortcut to run current cell. We use control enter. Debugging you don't need as a beginner. As of now, you can restart your kernel. This is useful when you want to create project. As a beginner, I would suggest you first get yourself comfortable with Pyder and basic Python coding. Once you are done that, you should learn about creating projects, managing environment, Git and GitHub. Latest version of Spider is compatible with Git. So you can do all the Git command, push, pull, commit inside your Spider. So this is my recent project. I can go to a particular project. I can create a new project. I'm not talking about project right now. It will confuse you as a beginner. Here is preferences. So you can look at and you can change some of the settings if you want, like font, font size. There are various things, working directory and so on, the variable explorer and uh, in syntax coloring, you see how they give coloring to these code. So blue color is keywords and green color is for a string and so on. So if you want, you can edit these scheme. I am not editing this, but what I prefer is scheme spider is default. I am changing it to dark, spider dark. There are some other options also. You might want to explore spider dark. When we change, it is dark theme. In the latest version, you can change the complete theme to dark. Here again, some option. This is again same file switcher, running cells and so on. Full screen. So now it is full screen. If you want to maximize, you are here in the current pane. You want to maximize, you can do it again, minimize. So I would say that first go and explore these things. This is preferences again. So it's a fast way to change your settings. So this is how a spider looks like and one of the the advantage of using a spider is you can work in console for doing something quick for example i am assigning x equal to 5 it is saved here you can see in variable explorer i can see now x equal to 5 if i do y equal to x plus 2 and run this it is now saved in my variable explorer so i can see that these are the objects which i have created integer type object and this is the value of this object so whatever task i will do i'll be able to see here so i am creating a list here it is saved here and it is telling me it's a list. 
so this is one uh, advantage that i can see all those variables so if i forget i can uh, always go back and i can look at the particular value if i have created these variables how can i delete a particular variable so if i want to delete z from this i can simply use del del z will delete z from the environment now i have x and y and if i want to delete more than two objects together i just need to use comma so del x comma y will delete x and y from my environment so i'll not be able to see anything here in my variable explorer and this is the console if i want to clear console either i can type cls hit enter or i can use control l from my keyboard it will clear the console and this is the script which you can obviously save and give it some name and when you save it you can save it as a python file and text file also and notebook also so there are various formats in which you can save this file so you might want to explore those files i have just loaded pandas and numpy in the environment you can see it's here in the console now i want to see what is my current working directory so how we can see that current working directory in means the directory in which this file is saved and i will be able to import data or open any python file only from this working directory so if i want to import data from some other folder either i need to browse to that folder or i can change my working directory so how can i see what is my current working directory for that i need this library import os and this command os dot get cwd get current working directory so when i run this i see that this is my current working directory if i want to change this working directory to some folder i need to use this command os dot chdir and when i change it to some particular folder it will be changed now if i run again i am in the console right now os dot get cwd now i can see the working directory is changed now in this working directory i have some csv file let me load this file i just want to show you something this is the csv file so i can see it's a data frame of this size and these are the column names so basic information i don't need to use the columns df dot columns or df dot size command i am just getting this information right here in the variable explorer and i can even view this data frame by clicking here i can maximize and i see this is my data frame this is how spider looks like i have not discussed any shortcuts or productivity tips here but i have shown you how it looks like so you might want to explore if you like spider one quick thing is you can comment or uncomment a particular line using shortcut control 1 it's commented again control 1 it's uncommented and similarly control plus is the shortcut if you want to zoom it if i want to show it to you more clearly control plus and control minus will take it back to the previous setting so this was all about spider thank you for watching